Hello, good afternoon. My name is Benjamin Pussy Apple, the head of science department at Twasi Senior High School. We welcome you to Scientific Applications in Real Life. Our main aim for forming this group is to come out with some real life experiments for you to appreciate science. But science is not something we learn in abstract, but something which is much more used in everyday life. So from day to day, we'll be uploading videos of scientific applications. Um, introducing you to some new science principles. Then for each of each experiment we perform, we also brief you on the, the basis, meaning the principles in science back in those experiments. We hope you enjoy our videos. See ya. Good afternoon, fellow students. We've been studying pressure and we've been learning pressure. We know that pressure exists in different forms and in different uh, matters. Today, we are going to learn how pressure exists in liquids and under heat. What happened? In this our experiment, we are going to use apparatus such as the delivering tube, the conical flask, the beaker, the flat bottle flask, the restore stand, and the restore clamp. And that's it. We have cut the flat bottom flask in order to maintain the pressure in it so that the pressure does not escape. So the pressure that has been kept in it is going to work in a form that we are going to see like how fountains operate. So we can see that the liquid has been boiled. Therefore, we are going to see how it is going to work when we invert it or when we put it in a different solution that we are having in this beaker. So, so we are going to use the restored clamp to hold this so that we can invert it. So as we can see, pressure that are exerting in the fluid has caused this experiment to work as a fountain. So we term it as pressure fountain. What we are seeing here is that atmospheric pressure is acting on the liquid in the beaker. And therefore, the liquid pressure has increased. Also, since we heated the flat bottom flask, the pressure in it has been increased since there was a great amount of collision in it. So we can see that the pressure in this flask was increased due to the heating. So when we heat a liquid, the pressure in that liquid increases as compared to a liquid which is not heated. And since atmospheric pressure acts directly on every substance that such as liquid, it pushes the liquid and therefore forces it into the delivery tube and comes into the flat bottom flask. And this is what our experiment on pressure fountain looks like. So this is how it is being done. Thank you.